Tony Schiavone along with Bobby the Brain Heenan. In this program this week on Worldwide Wrestling, big main event matchup. Arn Anderson not 100%, but he and Chris Benoit will meet the Faces of Fear. Plus, we'll go back to Nitro. Rowdy Roddy Piper accepts the challenge, accepts the match. He and Hulk Hogan next Sunday for the world title at Super Brawl 7. Tony, if you were in the Superdome in New Orleans, what would you be smelling? Maybe v Green Bay's victory over uh, New England? Yeah, victory in the air. If you were at Yankee Stadium, what would you be smelling? The Yankees. World winning. champions, yes. Right. What do you smell if you're at the Cow Palace? I smell Rowdy Roddy Piper becoming the new heavyweight champion of the world and beating the tar out of Hulk Hogan. And I smell maybe some trouble from the New World Order as well as we go to the ring this week on Worldwide Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, from Allentown, Pennsylvania, Billy Kidman. The youngster Billy Kidman in the opening matchup here on Worldwide Wrestling Brain. Here's a young man in the Cruiserweight division getting a lot of wins as of late and very popular as well. Well, he's uh, he's fast, and he's uh, he studied the sport, but he just is uh, he's a little more experienced, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. All right, he'll yep. get it. Yes, he will. Sooner or later, everyone does. Let's go back to the ring. From Central Florida, that means Jerry Flynn. Jerry Flynn. Here's a young man who has a tremendous kickboxing martial arts background. And Jerry Flynn and Billy Kidman, the opening bout. In this telecast, we're going to send you back to Nitro, show you Piper's answer to WCW. At first it was no, but then, thanks to the ego of Hulk Hogan, he turned it around and said yes. That's a lesson in life. You know, some people do things like that their whole life. They do things, and it turns around and backfires in their face, and it's nothing but disaster. And that's what's going to happen to Hogan. He went well enough alone. Piper would have gone home, continued his movie career, and that would have been it. But no. Now Hogan's going to be embarrassed twice. Over the top. Spin kick. Reverse spin kick that time. Nicely done. I love my job. Quinn's got about, I would say, 45 pounds on Kidman here. Oh, absolutely, and probably like seven or eight inches on him as well. What you're seeing is a heavyweight and a cruiserweight in a, in a matchup here, but Kidman, the type of athlete that can win these matches, he has that shooting star press of his off the top. It's sensational. Into the ropes. Oh. And there's Jerry Flynn one more time. Look at that. Great leverage applied. I'm good at my job, ain't I? And a lot of... Shut up! A lot of arrogance as well, but you like that in athletes. I, I don't mind a person being arrogant if they can back it up. Some people are arrogant like the nasty boys who just can't back it up. They're just nasty. But you talk about Kidman and the difference in size. I put Dean Malenko up against anybody. I put Eddie Guerrero up against anybody. A guy like Benoit up against anybody. And they're not six feet ten. They're not three hundred pounds. But it's wrestling. Kidman can beat you. Ducky Law, Billy Kidman, cross body. One, two. Only, and Jerry Flynn back to the kick, back to the attack one more time here. Measures the man for the left hand, and Billy Kidman trying to pull himself back. Flynn, repeated short kicks now to the ribs, to the shoulder now. In this telecast, Arn Anderson, speaking of shoulders, he is nursing a shoulder injury. He is not 100%, he is not back full time, but he will be in our tag team main event later on, he and Benoit against the faces of fear. I'll tell you something about Aaron Anderson. I doubt, Tony, if he's ever been 100% for the last 10 or 15 years the beating that man's taken. You know, the leader of the horsemen, you might as well say, is Aaron Anderson. He's kept trying to keep everything together. This man's been beat up. He's been hit with ball bats. He's been hit with everything. I doubt the man's ever been 100% for at least the last 10 years. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So when he does talk about an injury or he is nursing an injury, it's bad. You, it's bad. You're exactly right. Left hand to the top of the head of Billy Kidman, and uh, Flynn showing some great balance that time. Mark Curtis is the referee assigned in the opening bout here from the Disney MGM oh. Studios. Reverse kick that time by Flynn. He is just really overwhelming the youngster here with his martial arts skill. But he may be overwhelming him, but he's starting to get frustrated because Kidman keeps bouncing back. Now what you got to do first, Mr. Flynn, is beat the man. Beat him down good. Don't let him do what he's doing to you right now. Then you can become cocky. Now beat him and then become cocky. 
Don't waste your time here at WCW. You'll get beat real quick. Jerry Flynn held onto the ropes. Nice leg. Kidman hit the back of his head on the mat. And now Flynn with a big leg drop. That was a great wrestling move. Should have him here. See, but he, he can't do that with a Billy Kidman. Uh, he's feeling good about himself. There is no question about that. In a reverse spin wheel kick. And a drop kick by Kidman. I mean, what do you got to lose to go for the pin? Three what? seconds is all. That's right. Two count. Kidman could have gone for it twice. And Kidman went for it. Kidman oh! bulldogs him. One, two, and almost beats him with that great maneuver. Well, I thought he had him there, Shivani. Oh! Good slam. Dropped him down. The fans going wild. Kidman up top. Shooting star oh! pro. One, two, three. I tell you, the youngster won that one with perseverance. The shooting star press did really not land directly on contact, but landed well enough on the shoulders to keep the man down, Flynn, for the three count, and Kidman gets to win the opening bout here. Well, look at Kidman. I think this is a move right here that took all the starts out of Mr. Flynn right there. He banged his forehead pretty good into that mat. Here comes Billy Kidman off the top rope. Didn't get him good, but he got him good enough for the one, two, and three. You should have beat him when you had the chance, Mr. Flynn. There's your winner, Billy Kidman. Still to come great ladies action and a great main event, plus Ray Mysterio Jr. One week away now from Super Brawl 7. This portion of WCW Worldwide Wrestling is brought to you by Valvoline, the number one choice of America's top mechanics. People who know use Valvoline.